Hi, and welcome to Easy Fishing. This is a follow on video from the first one I did on YouTube called An Introduction to Whip Fishing and using the kit that I showed in the video, namely an 8 pound 50, 3.5 metre whip that came with a rig, with this float on it, and the disgorger. And the bits I showed you, I'm going to now show you how to catch fish with this kit. Dead simple, dead easy. So first of all, we'll run through, just for those who missed it, how to attach a whip to your rig. To start it off, what you do is you take the end of your rig, which has a loop tied into the end of it. You take your main line, make a small loop in it, and pass that loop through that loop at the top so it looks like this you then just take the loop you've just made pass it over the tip of the whip and gently pull down and it makes a lasso or a half hitch whichever you care to call it slide it down till it's just behind the metal eye and gently pull tight and there you have a really secure um, connection that won't come undone. Now, when this rig came, it came with this float on it, which has the weight written on the side of it. 0.25 of a gram, quarter of a gram. Now, I know that this won't be shotted up correctly, and so it has proved. What I did was at home, I tested it out in a bucket of water, and originally it came with these four small number 10 shots on it, which is incidentally I don't like, because they if you pinch them on tight enough so they don't move, they tend to damage the line even though this line is quite thick. So what I've done, I have added three number 10 stots. These are the stots I showed you that they you need made by Press Innovations. I've also changed the hook length to a size 20 silverfish match by Drennan. As you can see, I've got it tucked into the end of the plummet there. It's a small hook. Here we go. Now the reason I'm using a small hook is because I'm using maggots as bait. Size 20, barbless. For kids and beginners, it saves a lot of heartache if they get stuck in your clothes. You don't end up cutting them out of your clothes or snapping your line. I've attached a plummet, again as I showed in the video, just by passing the line through the loop at the top and burying the hook in the cork base. Now I'm just going to check the depth and we're good to go. So, with your plummet attached to the end of your line, swing it out gently just beyond where the tip of your whip is above the water. Try and adjust it so that the float is just showing at the top. I've got about a centimetre of the float tip sticking out. Once you've found where you've had fish, and as you plumb up, especially on a canal, you'll find it becomes shallower the closer you come in. So I'm aiming to fish down what is known as the ledge or the slope. Now I'm fishing no more than about seven or eight feet out from the bank and it slopes away at about a 45 degree angle. Now if you've got a longer whip you can fish further out but today conditions are perfect. It's a blazing hot July evening this is just a very short session, no more than two hours. So, 
once you've ascertained your depth, take your plummet off. And some of you might have noticed on the base of my whip I have a rubber band. Now this is quite purely and simply to hold your hook in place just by hooking it under the rubber band so when I put the rod down the hook doesn't catch in the grass and nettles etc which if you just lay it down with a rig dangling inevitably it will. You can buy commercially made what are called hookups but basically a bit of old pole elastic or a small rubber band will do fine and is cheap. And there you have it there. Hooks underneath it safely out of the way. Now those of you who are paying attention will notice that I have beside me what is known as a bait waiter. Now I didn't say about this in a video but I suffer from a really bad back and I'm not very well and if I bend over I tend to faint. One of these which costs about £8 or £8.50 from a local tech shop made by Drennan again it's known as a canal bait waiter. There's two types, there's this one here or a slightly bigger one that's flat and holds uh, four bigger bait boxes but for the kind of canal fishing we're doing that's fine. Bait wise I've got about a quarter of a pint of pinkies uh, they're not called pinkies because they're this colour their name comes from when they're naturally bred they're white with a faint pink tinge these are dyed and they're called fluoros or discos very good bait on canals other than that I have some very dodgy looking old maggots and casters at the end of the day I think these are going to go in the water or be fed to the ducks the only other thing I've got with me is about less than a pint of brown crumb available from your tackle shops about 50 pence worth so I'd guess the bait bill for today is about three pounds or three pounds fifty which I think is probably pocket money reach for everybody and affordable so the next thing we're going to do is just mix the ground bait up now to mix the ground bait up you need uh, a small mixing bowl, you could use an old washing up bowl, a plastic container, anything basically as long as it's round and washable. To this, just going to pour brown crumb in there. I'm going to take some water and to this we just add the water a bit at a time, don't dump it all in, just mix it round a little bit at a time till it goes, till it's all damp, but not over wet it. If you over wet it, it will just go into a big claggy ball and be absolutely no use for this. So here we have the ground bait mixed up in a bowl. It's just dampened enough so you can squeeze it into a ball, but it will crumble down. Just rub any lumps out between it with your feet, with your hands, because the object of this is not to feed the fish, but to attract them. You can add um, samples of your hook bait to it if you wish. Once the wasps go away, that is. But there you have it, about 50 pence worth. I'm using this washable EVA, I think is what they're known as. Um, but like I say, any round sided container will do. Small washing up bowl, a small plastic container. You don't need a big thing because 
for canal fishing, you're not mixing up large quantities of bait. So there we have the ground bait. Right, the other thing you may have noticed is I have a keep net with me. Just a small, cheap keep net, but it does the job.